Okay, now in this video, we're going to be talking about YouTube again. Now, if you're going to be getting traffic back to your site, you obviously want to make sure that you are doing a couple of things right. And I'm going to show you one of those things that you want to be concerned about. Now, in particular, one of the things that Google uses in order to rank videos, in order to determine which videos are going to be the ones they're going to show, is watch time. So you want to be concerned about making sure that people are watching your videos all the way through. So one thing that you're going to be looking at here is audience retention. Now obviously in some cases you're going to be doing videos that you may or may not necessarily be concerned about you know necessarily the, the, the content you just want to get the click but Google will give you more traffic right to your video if people are watching your videos and staying all the way through and you can tell that with audience retention and you can look at each one of your videos and you can determine if people are actually watching the entire video right so you can uh, you can take a look at any of your videos you can look at how much of the video people are actually staying to the entire uh, to the entire video to watch and you can tell if people are staying through your entire video then Google is going to give you more credit it's going to consider your video to be of a higher quality so you want to make sure that these are high numbers right in the 90s and the 80s and the 100s now obviously this is a dummy profile but you want to make sure that your videos are videos that people want to watch and that people want to stay to uh, stay in to the end so watch time is very important because if you're going to get traffic and you're going to get people to watch your video and then send them back to your website you want Google to send you as much traffic as you can get now one way for you uh, to be able to increase your watch time is going to is to create videos that are going to be relevant and the way you determine relevance is to make sure that you're creating videos for things that people are actually searching for you can find that in a couple of different ways now I'm gonna show you one way inside of YouTube and basically in the same way that you did suggestions inside of the organic search you can do those very same things inside of Google you're going to click you're just gonna write in one at a time because you wanna see what people are actually searching for now if I type in low-carb diet I can see now these are the searches that people are using inside of YouTube as you may know YouTube is considered to be the number two search engine in the world so people are using YouTube in order to get information and so you want to make sure that you are creating relevant videos looking right before us based on the keywords that we have in these are the things that people are searching for and Google suggests will give you sometimes keywords that do not exist inside of keyword tool these are up-to-date results they are as close to real time as you can get now does this warrant creating an entire video for it you'll have to determine that based on the searches that you do when you look at the videos and when you look at the organic search but certainly you will know without a shadow of a doubt that these are real searches that have occurred very recently inside of YouTube and then creating a video means that if one person has searched for it and another person does they are likely to see your video okay so Google suggests is one way that you can find relevant keywords to create videos about because that will then allow you to create the kind of content that people will watch to get traffic back to your website okay so now that is basically what you want to do in terms of determining relevance for your video and that's going to give you a maximum amount of traffic to your video where you're going to lead people back to your website okay so we're going to be actually looking at one more video where you're going to be doing some things with YouTube that will again help you to get traffic back to your website but we have determined relevance and there are some there are some aspects of doing video marketing in particular that will help you to drive traffic back to your website we'll be looking at that in the next video and wrapping up our series on video marketing so with that thanks and I will see you in the next video